Which country's national anthem do you think has these words? In our veins runs Roman blood, and in our hearts forever we glorify a name, triumphant in battle, the name of gallant Emperor Trajan. It's the Romanian national anthem, and this video is about the close links between Italy and Romania, links which are so close that there are more Romanians in Italy than any other nationality apart from Italians. Now, I remember watching the Romanian Revolution unfold live on TV in 1989, and my Italian mother saying she could understand much of what was being said, as Romanian had many words similar to Latin. It was surprising that a country with the Black Sea on its coast, surrounded by more typically Eastern European Slav-speaking countries, was speaking a language so closely related to Italian. The origins of the Romanians are far from clear. Romania sits at the crossroads of Europe, between East and West, Catholic and Orthodox, Christianity and Islam, and yet despite this, somehow, the language of the Roman Empire remained after Emperor Trajan had defeated and obliterated the previous Dacian civilization. Rome's military triumph over Dacia is what is pictured on Trajan's column, which you can see in Rome today. I've made some efforts in my time to learn Romanian, and speaking Italian is definitely an advantage. About half the Romanian words have a Latin origin, so have some similarity to the Italian, quine or cane for dog, or are the same, such as ieri for yesterday. Unfortunately for me, much of the rest of the language is Slav and incomprehensible, with very different grammar, at which point I'm afraid to say I gave up. However, and this is really important for this video, it doesn't work like that in reverse. Italian has not had as much foreign influence as Romanian, which means that for Romanians it's relatively easy to understand and learn Italian. If you add to that, Italy's ageing population means there's a great need for willing workers, especially in agriculture and healthcare, it's not surprising that around 1.2 million Romanians have chosen to live in Italy, most coming after liberalisation of visas in 2002, prior to Romania joining the European Union in 2007. For comparison, there are about a third as many Romanians in the UK, so how has Italy welcomed this large Romanian community? It's hard to measure such things objectively, but on balance I would say much like anywhere else, which means some politicians have reacted negatively, disproportionate focus on crimes committed by Romanians, some prejudice, but most people just getting on with things. A typical example of negative attention was the case of Nicolae Romulus Melat, and note the name Romulus, who murdered an Italian woman in Rome in 2007. As a Romanian citizen living in a Roma camp, it was too good an opportunity for some politicians to ignore, and a decree was quickly passed allowing the Italian government to bulldoze Roma camps and expel so-called undesirable citizens even of other EU countries just as Romania joined the EU. It was also regularly pointed out that at that time there were more Romanians in Italian prisons than any other foreign nationality, which, call me simple, surely is what you'd expect if Romanians make up the biggest foreign community in Italy. Something which it is hard to ignore when thinking about Romanians in Italy is the Roma community, widely known in Italy as Rom. I did a small poll on Reddit about this and around half thought that Italians did associate the Roma with Romanians, with the other half saying don't be stupid, they're completely different. It is probably true that if there is a Rom connection to a crime, it will receive more attention in the Italian media. This example of a car crash outside a Rom camp is typical. There may be a connection with the camp, but if there is, it isn't explained, and I'm not sure why it's relevant. And this lets politicians like La Lega's Matteo Salvini say things like how terrible Rome is as tourists will remember it for its burning buses, potholes, mice, or does he mean rats, and Rom. It's also no coincidence that Rome is run by a mayor from a different political party to his own. So where does all this leave us? Firstly, Italy, whether it knows it or not, has a special relationship with Romania, which goes back millennia. But it's not a blood relationship like Italy has with many people today in South America, which allows them to claim Italian citizenship. And secondly, Romanians in Italy are, quote, the biggest and most integrated foreign community, according to none other than Matteo Salvini himself. There is a but to the original quote to do with the criminal minority, although I'm going to hold on to that positive part, which, if it's Matteo speaking positively about a foreign community in Italy, is probably true. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please feel free to subscribe. I'll be doing more videos along similar lines, so I'll see you all soon.